Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Bloody Stream, okay? I'll be teaching you my favourite two sections of the song, which is pretty much the starting instrumental motive and also the verse. I love the verse, okay? It goes like this, give you a preview of both sections, you're going to learn. So the intro is this awesome section, goes like this. And then it goes right to the verse, right next to it goes... Let's learn the first section first, okay? So um, let's go break it up into. It's actually pretty simple. This first section is like a pattern going onto it, okay? The fast. It's like a pattern in itself. Let's learn that right now. So it goes right hand goes C, E flat, G, E flat, F sharp, C, F, F, C, E flat, F. And that's it for the pattern, okay? So it's like an 11 note pattern, okay, for the right hand, okay? One more time, it goes like this. C, E flat, G, E flat, F sharp, C, F, F, C, E flat, F. So that's the right hand. So obviously you need to build up the speed. That's what you want to aim to do. Left hand, uh, there are five notes, five bass notes, okay? What we do, we just do like octave bass notes, okay? So um, yeah, so just... If you can't reach an octave, just do individual notes. So it's C, B, B flat, A, A flat. It's going in a chromatic downwards from C to A flat, okay? So do it as octave, it makes it more exciting. Okay? So yeah, those five notes, okay? All right, so yeah, once you get that, uh, two hands together, it's pretty simple. Uh, you place it together like this. So C and C together. F sharp, B together. After the first F, B flat by itself. Right continuous, and then next F. E flat and A together. F and A flat together. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's like this. So it goes together, 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 like that. So yeah, this motif is very important because you play it for like kind of two and a half times. So the second time you repeat it again. And then the last time, the third time, you kind of play it for a little bit, okay? You play it except for the last A flat note. So it's... So you stop right at the A and E flat and then Right hand goes up to the B flat C trilling, and the left hand goes to the G octave bass, and then you hold it together like so, like that. So you kind of play that motif for three times. Where the third time you change that last note on the left hand instead of A uh, A flat, it goes to G, and the right hand goes to the B flat C trill. Like that. Okay, so yeah, that's the pattern. Okay, so it allows you to learn it a lot quicker. So you play it for three times. So it goes like this. Check it out. So play it for two times normally first. That's it for the intro. I love this intro. It's really awesome. Okay, now let's move on to the uh, verse section. Okay, I love this verse section as well. I like it actually more than the chorus. Okay, so that's what I'm teaching in this lesson. So here we go. Okay, so let's learn the melody and chords for this. Okay, so it goes like this. We'll break it up into two parts. All right. First part goes like this: G, G, F sharp, G, E flat, F, F sharp, G. Okay, that's the right hand for the first part, okay? One more time, it goes G, G, F sharp, G, E flat, F, F sharp, G. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G. Second chord, E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Third chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And fourth chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. Okay, so these four chords in mind, so C minor, E flat major, D major, and D flat major. Two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts, F sharp, C minor together, up the G, E flat major by itself, right hand continues, F sharp and D major together, up the G, D flat major by itself. That's it for the first part, one more time, it goes, That's that. Now, moving on to the second part, okay? The second part, Ryan continues, goes like this, goes G up to C, G, F, E flat, F, down to C, C, E flat, C, E flat, E flat, F, 
E flat, F sharp, G. That's it for the right hand. Okay, let's do it again. So it goes like this. G up to C, G, F, E flat, F. Down to C, C, E flat, C, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, F sharp, G. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have the exact same four chords as what we learned just then. Okay, so you know it. So C minor, E flat major, D major, and D flat major. It's the same there, four chords of the first part that we just did. Okay? Okay, with that in mind, turn together, it goes like this. Right hand starts on the G by itself. C and C minor together. After E flat, E flat major by itself. Right hand continues. F sharp and D major together. After G, D flat major by itself. Like that. Okay, let's do it again one more time. So it goes together. 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 And that's it for the second part. Alright, so back to back. The two parts we've learned, we'll be playing like this. Check it out. Get the melody and chords of this, you can add extra stuff into it to make it more awesome. The left hand, you can do like octave and then arpeggio patterns, and then you're gonna like do rhythmic patterns, that kind of thing, okay? Make it more jumpy. And the right hand, you can harmonize the bass of the chords underneath the melody, so you could be like. stuff yeah so combined with the first section we learned the and then you go right to there pretty awesome and really fun to play so hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel so check it out also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out enjoy time around my channel as for now and see you Next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.